TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. Two hours left to go on the trading day, and we got volatility in both directions right now. S&P's positive by five points, trading at 31.23. NASDAQ 100 positive by 65 points, trading at 10,027. The Dow negative by 12 points, 26,175. You zoom in on the action today. Lows of the session made right at 10.30, 3,098. We're just about 20 points above that level, but as you see five minute bars the highs made it about 140 we were up as high as 3130 we've lost about 10 s p points in that time frame jumping over to the dow you see really this whole week since tuesday just kind of hovering around 26,100. i say that but quite the sell-off yesterday intraday almost a thousand dow points from high to low and the headlines going on today you have chairman powell in front of the house Financial Select Service Committee, I believe, where is he? Financial Services Committee is where he is. And uh, so he's got remarks going on over there. One of the things he's saying is that they will move away from ETFs to direct corporate bond purchases, Powell says. He is speaking still. That goes until 3 p.m. Eastern time. He started at noon, continues until 3 p.m., taking questions from a number of House members on that committee. Other action out there, headlines. You had U.S. Homing, U.S. housing starts, home construction rebounds 4.3% in May. A big one out here, mortgage demand spiking to an 11-year high as rates hit another record low. The 30-year fixed mortgage rate, 3.3%. And how about Hertz? Hertz is halted pending news. And there is the SEC told bankrupt Hertz it has issues with its plan to sell stock, the chairman of the SEC says. And uh, if you're supposed to be protecting unknowing investors, maybe allowing them to buy shares as they're literally told that it could be worthless in the future as that company's reorganized through bankruptcy. Those investors, they saw, somehow think there's going to be value left after that reorganization. But Hertz shares, I believe they're still frozen. They are at 194. Those shares have not traded from since about 1140 this morning. We'll see where that goes, but not good if you're a holder of Hertz shares. Checking in on the VIX as we wrap up this update at 2 o'clock. The VIX volatility index 3283 was as high as 4444 early in the week. And how about oil? Oil at 3804 for some volatility on the EIA number, a build of 1.22 million. Tom pegged it on the show this morning if you weren't watching, pretty cool. But nonetheless, still higher at 3802. Stay tuned folks, Dave White with the Power Trading Hour live right now. Tom O'Brien coming up live from three till four. We'll be right back. Stay